uh, for about six years now. So. I'm already a minority and a woman, and so I'm at um, already at a disadvantage. And so I feel like if Prop 16 were to pass, then that would give people in my position um, that extra help to, to really get a place in this world. And There are always certain obstacles associated f with different races and ethnicities. Um, and I think that's probably the current problem in our admissions process right now is that colleges don't really see those obstacles. Um, and so I think, you know, Prop 16 would definitely address that. And we have been hampered in the state from really addressing some of the inequities that are there uh, and making an assumption that everybody's equal uh, in some abstract sense, that is true. But everybody's not equal in terms of opportunity and, and preparation. So I've been involved uh, with Prop 16 since the spring. I've called... If Proposition 16 were to be passed, then it would be so much harder for us Asians to get admitted into the colleges. We would have to work so much harder to get the same results. The liberal arts institution, um, here's another one. This one is Oberlin. This if we allow the government to give prefer preferential treatment, then we are judging people based on the skin that they're born in. I thought we believe in equal opportunity for all. This is the land of opportunity, and I came here to pursue the American dream. A lot of people were begging us for this sign because uh, they've been asking for this for... Prop 16 is a very top-down solution, and I think we really need to go to the root of the problem, which is our K-12 education, and really focus on that rather than trying to do this top-down, lower the standards for certain colors, certain sexes, we don't have a whole lot. We can't afford a lot. We're using this filmy quality signs.